Good morning. Right. As you know, if you've been watching my previous videos, I'm building the all the little hardware mods as they keep appearing. Um, unfortunately, I, I do work, so sometimes it's a bit tiring. But this is the light sensor module. I think it's the... Is it a BLH570 or something? But... Uh, I've built it on a little bit of perf board um, and, and that's it so I thought we'd just take a look at how it works what it does so if you just bear with me okay that's acceptable so we'll plug it in And if we then go to oops, applications, GPIO, and there we are, the light meter. Okay, so there we go. It's very simple, but it's actually quite useful. Um, We'll just have a look at the config because the config is is very very simple, and you can set your ISO. You can set your. I'm assuming that's neutral density. Whether you have a diffusion dome and there's just a little sort of. There we are. It's the BH one seven five zero ambient light sensor, and there's the pinouts, and that's it. There's only two. It's a very obviously power and ground, but. It's a very very simple little um, device so you can change the ISO 100 200 400 800 1632 64 up to a maximum of 102,000 um, so we'll just uh, arbitrary figure and if we go back so we have as ISO our f-stop which is currently at 2.8 and our t-stop which is at 2. Now the LX in the top right hand corner this is probably the most useful thing from my perspective with this it's a lux meter so if I if I let's if I turn my lights off just wait for the smart home to kick in Okay, so there we go. So it's gone to six. So if I just turn them on dim. And a little bit more. A little bit more. And then my maximum. Now that for me is probably the most useful thing. And I was thinking, what, what would you use this little add-on for? And I've come up with several uses. You could, for example, if you fly a quadcopter and you have use it for photography. I'm sorry, I refuse to use the word drone. Um, I hate the word. They're not drones. They are quadcopters, model, model aircraft. So if you fly a quadcopter and it's a very sunny day, you could take this out and you'll have an idea which neutral density filter to use. You could, for example, if you have um, lighting for plants or anything, if you have a small vivarium, you could use it to see how your lights are penetrating below the canopy. Uh, it's useful for testing leds although i can actually max i can max the lux meter out i think it's about thirty-two thousand. bear with me just one second okay so i've just picked up my sun on a stick torch so let's uh as i increase oops sorry. So yeah, there I've I've maxed it out at thirty-seven thousand six hundred and eighty-three. Um, 
there incidentally it is my son on a stick torch it's a it's a home build um you buy the chassis you can put your own led in it your own driver your own batteries your own switch assembly so i've turned that into a, a significantly sort of powerful flashlight it's lovely so there we go that's the flipper zero light meter in a nutshell a deceptively simple device that has a myriad of uses so there you go that's today's video thank you for watching again i'd, I'd like to say a, 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 an enormous thank you to the recent subscribers um since i started doing these videos i've had a a, a plethora of new subscribers and i just wanted to say again thank you um it would be great now if i could get a thousand subscribers that would be absolutely great it's small fry um in the world of youtube but it's not small fry to me so again to all of you thank you take care and have a nice christmas <laughs>